Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Roll, the optimization game where you have 2,500 rolls to get as high of a number as possible. This time, dare I say, oh, this kind of sucks. I'm gonna go for a quadrillion points. You heard it right. One quadrillion. It's gonna be a huge number. I don't know if I'm gonna get it this time, but I'm hoping I will because I got a new strategy I wanna try. It's, it's gonna be some big, big numbers, at least hopefully I'm crossing my fingers. I've seen a lot of passives centered around lottery faces. And I did use a lottery face once because, you know, the 77777 seemed very appealing, but I wanna try a lottery focused strategy. After reviewing all the lottery passives, I think I have some interesting ideas about how to go about that. So I wanna hit a quadrillion. I w would prefer to get even higher, to be honest. That'd be pretty sick. I'll take an incrementer. I actually probably shouldn't have bought the plus five. I think that was a mistake. Actually, you know, I can just slap the incrementer on a one. Right, I'm gonna buy it 100%. I need this early scaling. If I slap it on the one, my eventually by the time it makes it to 99 the overall value of my dice will be higher the downside is if i slap it on the one and then get a face multiplier while it's going up i'm i would be getting way less than what i would be if i put the incrementer on the big one i'm gonna slap on the big number i want to get to 99 faster there's a lot of benefits from that face multipliers uh, face copiers there's a lot that's worth it, and I guess I'll go for a shop upgrade. But uh, ultimately, I'm still going to go for lottery faces. So what matters is that I rush shop tier 4 and try to get some passives. And then the passives should hopefully catapult me into a good lottery face setup. And also, I'm not even sure when we can start seeing lottery faces. Ooh, a 99 half decrementer. This thing's actually really good for early scaling. I want to get it, and I also want to get multipliers later. I want to get this 99 decrementer first. It's it's just so fast, getting 99s right out of the gate, and by the time I get that, and then can afford a multiplier, I can probably put it on my incrementer and be a little bit better off, so give me that. Yeah, this makes sense. And then times two or times three. The times threes are like double the cost of the times two, so I'm merely going to get a times two here. I guess actually times three is kind of worth it. Maybe I was just remembering the costs wrong. Yeah, if, if, if you think about it additively, then this is actually about the ratio of cost you would expect. And times three is gonna pay itself off pretty quickly. The only downside is that my start is still kind of overall slow. And now I'm kind of glad though, I did get the, the um, incrementer on the big number because I am getting paid out a little bit faster right now. And let's take this, yeah, shop upgrade. And now hopefully I can find some passives passives and a lottery dice. All numeric phases on all dice will be increased by two each time I roll. Yeah, that's early game scaling. I might as well take that and then go for a shop upgrade and then try to double down on the lottery stuff. All right, give me that and then I'll hunt for another dice and then shop upgrade. Ooh, look at those numbers go. <laughs> okay, looking pretty spicy. Give me that and let's see what else I can get from the shop now. Single set of a kind can be good. It's something I'll want eventually. It does nothing right away, but once I get something that benefits me rolling Yahtzees, triples or doubles, it'll be good. I'm tempted to take a previous roll multiplier because I want one eventually, and I think it's also decent enough scaling. And then I'll maybe take my passive and leave. So put you, yeah, right here. Sometimes I get 999 times three times 10, it works out. Still a decent amount of rolls though. Maybe I should be looking for better passive. No, but I'm going pretty quickly. This is all pretty quick. The only thing is, things are a bit more expensive. I'll take a lottery bonus. I'll also take a lottery face. This is the first one I think is worth it. Even though this is technically worse than the 99, my strategy is gonna revolve around having a good variety of lottery dice. And then plus, once I get this lottery bonus, which I obviously am gonna get, lottery dice are gonna be worth basically eight times more. Uh, then this thing will be way better than the 99s. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna... 
I actually don't know if I want to put it on the one with the times 10 because sometimes it's worth a zero. But sometimes it's not worth a zero. So I think it's worth it once I get the lottery dice upgrade here. And then I will take this. And this shouldn't take too long to get. All right, took a little bit. All right, but there we go. Starting to pop off. Uh, maybe a lottery multiplier is worth it now. 20% for one out of four. With plus 800% bonus, I think that's worth it now. I'd say it was not so great before, but now it has a chance. I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to put it on a side die. So it could possibly copy a 99 times 3 or a times 10 thing. Triples bonus, no weights bonus. Both are very good. Another lottery die. All very good. I might as well take the triples bonus, yeah? Because it triggers the single set of a kind and I have a bunch of 99. So it's obviously going to be good here. It's funny though. I have a bunch of 99s. I'm not even trying to do... I'm, I'm not even trying to do that heavy lottery synergy. I'm actually going to go no weights bonus first. And then a lottery face. Okay, that was quick. I do like to see it. I might be able to afford both. Okay, no, but I'm kind of close. Taking these lottery faces, then looking for more lottery synergy. I guess I could replace the decrementer with this one. Since the decrementer isn't always worth 99. I want to spread out my lottery faces among these die. Because there are some lotter lottery passive synergies. That will revolve around having your lottery spread out. Okay, I want to get this 77777. This is one of the best lottery faces, and hopefully we'll get to see why. There is a passive that will absolutely make this thing phenomenal when I put it on the same die as a 50%. Yeah, just going to put it right here. Really hope we get to see this happen. I'm going to, like, hunt for... Is it this one? Yes, it's this one, exactly. When a die rolls a successful lottery face, the next lottery face rolled on the same die is a guaranteed success. You have any idea how good that is with my setup? Think about this, 50% chance to win this. And then the very next one is guaranteed. If the very next one happens to be a 77777, I'm rich. And then if it's followed up with the times 10, it's all over. So that's the chain and the strategy I want to achieve. And now the door is open to do it. So I will take this opportunity. And yeah, it doesn't take too long to get there. Once I get this, I should be absolutely popping now. And then I am going to take some other things, like another previous roll multiplier. And, well, and another lottery multiplier. Because again, there's stuff based off of adjacencies. It already happened. Wait, the times 10, what did it even multiply? Either way, between these... I'm almost tempted to just take this previous roll multiplier soon. No, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll buy this. Order doesn't matter that much. I will put it on the same die. No, I, I might as well put it on this right die. So I can have something similar trigger with the 20% more likely to trigger. And then that could trigger the 5%, which gives big numbers. I wanted to cascade with the, the rig slot machine. I am going to take this times 10. Let's see, what, where did the money come from? Just 7128 times 10 plus 100%. Yeah, that's pretty insane. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, so the times 10s are pretty nutty when we're working with big numbers here. Yeah, they're, they're fairly nutty. So I will take one and put it on this right die. And then keep looking for more lottery synergies. Lottery failure reroll? No, not, no 99s reroll is useless right now. I think I'll take the lottery reroller. Try to get a little bit of gas going. It's tough to say that's really worth it though, because it's going to be overridden by a times three reroller at some point. Oh, this is nice. Non-standard multiples. Upon purchase, non-standard dice can receive the effects of doubles, triples, and Yahtzee bonuses. So that way, I can get my single set of a kind with triples going with lottery faces. And that is a really strong scaler. It's not possible right now, but it will be good in the future. So I'm going to take it. As long as it takes me to get 2 million though. Oh, not very long at all. Okay, that's excellent. I even overshot it. Only downside is hopefully that I did not massively increase the price of pretty much everything in the shop. That would certainly suck. I kind of did. Well, Passive Hunter is very good. I think I want that even more than the Lottery Multiplier. Well, I might as well take this first. This is, it's technically better to get this first. 
And I still have a, a thousand rolls to go. This is no worries whatsoever. Again, I think I'm gonna... Oh, actually, I guess it is just gonna go on this left side. I could actually, I could spread the love. Then I would have a chance to get a triples, as if that really makes a difference. But I want the passive hunter. Again, every time I buy a passive, I get two free shop refreshes. And shop refreshes are in short supply usually. You can see this strike through above my face, to, so you can tell that I, it's free, but I only have two sh free shop refreshes right now. Now I have four. So now, well, let's look for more. Prime numbers, no. Void is okay. Void is not too bad to get on one of my die. I might, I might as well get it now. It's, it's not a terrible thing to get. I could get it on my center die. So if I were to pop off crazy with the lottery, it makes the... It makes this... Uh, the void makes it pay out twice as hard. Which is a good thing. Sometimes it ruins my previous roll multiplier, but I don't think that's the worst thing ever. Face multiplier, lightweight bonus, keep looking. Top three, that's a good die. Who's a good die? You're a good die. Uh, and then some lottery faces, but top three is coming first. Top three with lotteries makes a lot of sense because it's pretty often, at least I imagine, that I would have dice roll zero. So there would be really only three dice actually doing something. So thank you, and of course I'll buy the lottery face and lottery multiplier. They're relatively cheap. I'm actually gonna get this one on the left side this time to try to cascade with the multiplier, and then I'll get this on probably the last die. Ooh, it's looking better now. It's looking good that took, what, two or three rolls? Purchase you right up here. Show me some new passives. Okay, doubles bonus is pretty good. Add previous roll to rerolls is also good. It's not amazing right now. It will be good. I do want both of these. I'll take the doubles bonus first. They're not amazing right now. But again, if it only takes this few rolls... Oh, and I can buy them both. Let's go. Thank you and thank you. I could add six rerollers to a die. I might as well put it on my good die in the middle. Just so it rolls more often, because that's the one I want to roll. Yeah, and none of these, uh, none of the faces in the middle impact other dice. It's just a self-sustaining die, so I will put it all on here. And I figured why not, since it's cheap and I can't seem to be getting any good reroll passives. Ooh, well these are two good ones. I, I think I'll take both the doubles and the reroll bonus. I think I'll take the reroll bonus first, and then these lottery multipliers are all quite fine. I might as well get him out there to try to get some more doubles synergy. Holy crap, I'm buying everything. Mine, mine, <laughs> mine. Put you up right over here is fine. Might as well with the previous multiplier and then buy some of you right here. And then maybe get one up top right there. Is there anything else I would like to buy in this shop before the prices massively spike? Unfortunately, no. I mean, I could just buy a random multiplier. I guess I could do that. It costs only one million. That's not too bad. I might as well put it on the right side of die. Just as a temporary uh, earner. Because it also has the previous roll multiplier. And let's see what horrendous prices we're about to get. Oh, it's not too bad. Double highest die. That one's pretty cheap, all things considered. I'm looking for more 777s if I can get there, though. And also more... Uh, 100s with 50%, but double my highest die, no strings attached, is fantastic. We got 101 million, okay. What else do I want to purchase then? Maybe some rerollers? Since I don't seem to be getting any rerollers, I might as well do it myself. Oh, well, then my next spec die is definitely the rightmost one. I guess I could actually buy one, get one free. This isn't, this is a pretty good price. Sometimes I get a cheaper, uh, upgrade becoming free by mostly buying this because it gives me two free rerolls. So, thank you. I'm gonna refresh stock. This is a good one, slot machine. Whenever a lottery phase is rolled with adjacent lottery phases on its left and right, it'll pay out 10 times the amount if successful. Well, that means that only the middle die is actually gonna get it, but my middle die is my good die. So, I wanna get that, and then I wanna get a bunch of lottery phases in the middle row, basically. Uh, run, ooh, lottery phase, thank you, that's very good. And maybe I'll take a previous roll multiplier as well. Not sure. Ooh, this is gonna be big. It's seven, seven, eight million. All right, I'll take the seven, seven, seven. It's gonna go on the middle die because I want as many possibilities to hit a seven, 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 seven right after hitting the 
And I might as well take this previous roll multiplier. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty good. Maybe I'll take some combined face multipliers as well. Put you just over on the left side. I, I might as well take this for the two free rerolls. That's literally it. Two free rerolls for 60 million. Not a bad deal. And now it's going to be super expensive. Reroll bonus. Ooh, when a lottery face is rerolled, it's twice as likely to be successful. What should I want first? I think I'm actually going to take the lucky rerolls first. And then I'm going to get the reroll bonus next. Very nice. Solid play. Yeah, we're still getting these really quickly. Despite the high shop prices, we're still affording stuff relatively quickly. Previous roll multiplier is still good. I might as well get a few more of those. I'll put it up top, I suppose. Slowly replace those 99s so I can get a 99 or no 99s bonus. A weight bonus is no good. Attached multiplier stack. No, I'll take a lottery face. This can often be good. And I want this on one of the side faces so I can have the slot machine thing trigger. I don't think it really matters. I'll just put it on the left side. Triples bonus is good. Ooh, the 77777 is better, I think. So I will grab that. Ooh, what are we going to see here? All right. Half a billion. It's, it's fine. Mm, it might be better if I actually put it on the right die. Just so I have two possibilities to pop off with 77777. Yeah, I think it makes sense to spread that out a little. Because then I could also get doubles bonus with the sevens. But I do want a triples bonus as well. That took one roll. I do like how close these rolls have actually been to the, the cost of items. If I overshoot, I worry that the shot prices are going to be obscene whenever I reroll. But this is all good. Yahtzee reroll? No, I want a lottery face and I want this previous roll multiplier. And I want this lottery face. In fact, I'm even going to take this right now, slap this on the right side. Yeah, we, we can get rid of that 99er. We don't need any more. There we go. That That's really important to get the ball rolling. And of course, I'll still take a 77777. And we get it instantly. Thank you! A trillion? Excuse me? I need to look at the stats of that afterwards. Holy crap. Uh, we're just going to buy out this whole shop probably. So give me this. Give me that times tenor. And that's going to... I think it's going to replace the times two actually. I want this to flourish. So this gives it the best opportunity to. Uh, any re-rollers? No, I could take a Yahtzee re-roll. I mean, why not? Might as well buy a this bonus so I get two free shop refreshes. It makes sense. I have so much that costs one. Too bad it sucks. <laughs> Too bad it's genuinely awful. Damn it, the prices are about to become so huge. So what are we looking at now? Yep. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Yeah, it's in the trillions now. It's going ins going insane. I'll take six re-rollers since I can't seem to get a good re-rolling passive. Put you over on the left side. Now all three of these get times three re-rollers. Seems very good. I will take Scavenger, I suppose, next. Just for more free re-rolls over the course of the game. Woo. Oh, is my run boned? How lucky did I get? I wish I... Oh, I forgot to look at the stats. I was too focused on other things. It's so unlikely that I'm going to get the trillions I need now. Um, nope, just kidding. Actually, I definitely got the trillions I need now. That's the thing with a lottery stuff. It's, it's now it's like we're massively overshooting it and I'm paying the price. Like, I guess I'll take a no weights bonus. That's pretty good. I might take a void face. That can be good. I don't know if I actually want a four leaf clover. Actually, I might as well take it. I might as well take it and put it on a bottom die. Why not? So yeah, give me that put you over here it doesn't hurt to roll it and then get the i think void is pretty good if i want to double that seven 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 and then it's gonna go on well i think it's gonna go on the right side of die and i think what i want to get rid of is the times one fourth because most of the time they'll trigger off of nothing and i want things that are self-sufficient okay god this cost is going to just be genuinely awful. Oh wait, re-rollers? Have I not bought these? It should, yeah, I guess I'll take the re-rollers. That's pretty good. Put it on the top die, I suppose now. And then I might as well take this face multiplier. It's not the worst thing ever, but I need to get rid of 99s. Regular 99s don't even do it for me. So I'll, I'll, I'll just plop it there. I need to get rid of the 99s. Nothing worth it. Let's check it out. 
Okay, actually not too bad. And actually, I got some pretty good lottery dice right here. This is excellent. I can buy both of these right now. This is going on the left one for sure. And then, yeah, buying the other. And I might as well put that up top. And then I saw a previous roll multiplier, but I can't afford it right now. I think I might just shop a reroll instead. Yeah, I'm going to shop reroll. Ah, hey, it's a no weights reroll. You know what? You're too late. So I think I'm actually going to reroll for just something better. I need things that work with lottery faces. There's still so many good ones. Okay, well, I will take this lottery face. It's obscenely good. It is one of the best ones you can have, really. Yep. Back to 16 trillion. I'm glad to see that's going well. Give me that. And I think I want to replace that central 99 with it now, just so I can, yeah, maximize my odds here. Because, yeah, I don't think rolling the 99 does me any good anymore. Let's put it there. Oh, I guess I could have put it on the top die, but I'm sure we'll see plenty more of these that it won't matter. I don't think I want to take any more of these lottery multipliers. They're not that good. Keep looking for better stuff. This is a good one. This is, I believe, a new one. This is almost the inspiration behind the whole thing. All numeric faces will have a value of zero, but the result of all lottery faces will be multiplied by seven. Yes, that's very good. I might as well take my lottery face for almost free first, and then I will roll until I can afford you. That is excellent. Very good. Thank you. I actually might take a wild face. Where would I put the wild face exactly? It might be on the bottom die. It might be, because then I could get a wild adjacency multiplier. That, that could actually be really good. You know what? It's expensive, but let me see how long it takes for me to get to one. Let's see. Ooh, very quick. Very quick. All right, let's buy this. And yeah, slap you down right here. I'm tempted to get the other one too, to be completely honest. Just to get a couple wilds down below. And then wild adjacency bonus would be wild. All right, crushing it. Oh, by the way, this is my highest score. <laughs> I was too caught up with how expensive everything is in the shop when uh, we realized that my previous high score was something like 14 trillion. <laughs> I, I, I love being caught in the heat of the moment because, uh, yeah, we're absolutely blowing it out of the water. I am, and I'm hoping to continue to expand. I might take a void. Only thing is it does make it less likely to hit the slot machine thing. Nah, I want to go for the glory. Going for a void face is quite fine here. Get down the left eye. Make that times 10 even beefier. Yeah, that's uh, casually half a quadrillion. No biggie. Let's plop you down right about... Yeah, get rid of this one. That one's pretty bad. Well, now I should probably consider taking these. I still have 19 free rerolls. But there's no such thing as too many. Well, I could buy a regular multiplier instead. I mean, this is objectively very good, actually. I get this times four. I replace this single die face multiplier here. And then I could put a glue on it, actually. That might not be too bad. Oh, this costs one now. Thank you. Yeah, I'll buy a glue. Put it on the times four. I think that's worthwhile. Maybe a times ten on the bottom could be even better. I'm not going to buy a run multiplier. Let's look to see what else there is. Doubles reroll. Yahtzee bonus. Ooh, another lottery face. I'm going to take the lottery face first. Uh, doubles reroll doesn't even do me a solid. The Yahtzee bonus also actually won't do me a solid. Just because of the way I have this setup going. I think triples is the highest bonus that I would want. But anything higher than that is kind of a no-go. Two options. Either I put the 777 on top to try to spread that out and get more benefits or i put it on either the left or right faces so i can be more consistent it's like a higher peak up here but more consistency i think i want consistency i'll go for a higher peak later yeah the 20 percenter face swap i'm just wondering if i actually want to spread out the question marks n times four or get the previous roll multiplier down to this die because we're actually going to be seeing some huge numbers on the bottom and i could get some i would love one last triple re-roll is for the bottom but i do think i want the previous roll multiplier for the bottom yeah four leaf clover i think is fine let's swap it yeah let's refresh 
No 99s bonus? This is actually kind of feasible now. How many 99s do I have left? I have one up here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, of course this is good then. Easily. Then I want to look for, well, I guess just other multipliers. Other passives that could be good. Getting it quickly still. Broke a quadrillion. That's fine. I'll take you. <laughs> it's, it's free. I might as well. I might as well put it on my final numeric face, just to give it a little bit more of a boost. Come on, passives. I know you're out there. No Ooh, this one's good. Factor 18 quantity multiplier. Yes, again, this multiplies pretty much everything by three and a half. And I think I'll take the lottery or the 77777 afterwards. I'll take them both at the same time. You first. Wish I had gotten this for free. Still good, though. I might as well replace that last 99 up top, huh? If, if I have a face swap, I might take the... Oh, I don't have a face swap. That's a shame. Never mind. All right, these stink. Well, this is pretty good. I can afford it, so I'll take it. Oh, I can also afford six rerollers. Maybe I'll get these for free. Put it on... It's going to go on a left side face this time. Right there. And... Oh, I got six rerollers. <laughs> Let's go. For free. There we go. Finally got it. I guess that means I don't have glue on the times four. I think I'll just let it be. I'm not going to replace the times four with glue. I'm seeing scientific notation. That's great. 10 to the power of 16. That's fantastic. Keep looking for good things. Keep. Well, this previous roll multiplier is very good. This times 10 would go up top and be excellent. Yeah, I should probably get that, huh? That's usually where most of my earnings come from now. I'm getting it so quick. Actually, I'm getting a lot from the bottom, and I just got 10 to the power of 16. I believe that's four quintillion. Or not quintillion, quadrillion. So I should drop the six now, yes. Just because I got a banger roll from the bottom, I'm almost tempted to replace this thing with a previous roll multiplier. Let's try it on the bottom. What, what could go wrong? If I get a face swap that could be convenient... These are not lottery related. Aren't there still lottery stuff I can get? Oh God, this is a lot of passives. Maybe there's no more lottery stuff. Who knows, maybe more. there's more of these lottery bonuses. There's certainly more triples bonus. And isn't there another like single set of a kind bonus? No, surely there's a lot more I can get still. All right, continue to look. Oh my God, this bonus. Yeah, the less than six dice bonus. Duh, this one's insane. I can almost afford it too. That's one of the best things I could have. <laughs> oh, 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 50 quadrillion. Thank you very much. I will take you. And I might actually just buy this face swap. Like I said, it might not be too terrible. I also might buy this uh, bonus for the sake of the free rerolls. And then maybe I could hit this face swap. That'd be nice. I didn't get it for free. Unfortunate. I will still take this. I'm going to swap with these two, I think. This, is, this whole thing is really weird. I, I can't say for sure if I'm making the right decisions, but I'm trying to make a slow improvement. Not what I want. Keep looking. No weights. Reroll is now obsolete. Previous roll multiplier is very good. What die still needs it? Top die, right? Yeah, top die still needs it. I'm tempted to get rid of the four leaf clover then. Afterwards, we'll see. Mm, took a bit, but it, oh my god, 10 to the power of 17. That's 700 quadrillion. Okay, so I'm going to buy out the whole shop now, starting with probably these, even though they totally do nothing. Sometimes I get a thing for free. Oh, this multiplier is pretty good, huh? Yeah, give me these. Oh, I got two things free that I wanted. Thank you. Thing is, I can't have the four leaf clover and the previous row multiplier on the same face. I think I'm going to get rid of it because 50% is already pretty good odds. Yeah, let's, let's make the play. I do want this times five. Yeah, this is just by far a better play. I would probably end up replacing wild faces with times fives. I'd be like, I might even take this right now. It's it's better than a wild face by a lot. Now, what I don't remember is whether previous face multipliers... Wait a second, what if these don't... Oh, <laughs> awkward. Okay, they can't multiply the result of a total roll multiplier or the result of a wild face. I did forget that aspect. Okay, these are going to have to get replaced down below. And if I get a face swap, maybe I can preserve the times 10 I have down there. <laughs> That's funny. Well, maybe I'll buy a wild right now then. Get rid of the times 5. And this times 10 is just useless. 
Yeah, that's great. It happens. Back to free rerolls. Hey, look, it's 15 for the low, low price of six quadrillion. Amazing. Let's keep looking. Oh, I might as well take this seven. Seven, 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 seven. That's pretty good. How long does it take to get there? Ooh, a decent chunk. Do, do, do. <laughs> 10 to the power of 19. What are we even at right now? Okay, so 18 is quintillions, isn't it? So this is this is 10 quintillion. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to buy out this shop now for sure. Probably buy one, get one free first. Because of how cheap it is. And then try to get some other free stuff. I don't think this affects anything, so I'm just going to get my free stuff, including free rerolls. Lottery face. That is going to replace the 1,000 for sure. It could also replace this 50%. And then I'd be more likely to roll triples with the 7s. Yeah, I think I actually want to be more likely to roll triples. I think just having one procker and then a bunch of receivers is the play. And do I want anything else here? I might as well take this multiplier. It's, you know, better than the completely useless times 10 previous roll multiplier here, unfortunately. Glue, maybe? Actually, hold on. If I have a universal reroller, then glue is actually good. Do I have one? Yeah, I have a no weights reroll. If I am going under the assumption that... Oh, and this is a risky assumption, okay? If I am going under the assumption that it is not possible for rerolls to stack, then the glue is good because I could just shove it on a... A, my, well, my biggest multiplier, my times five, and it'll still re-roll every time. I think I could figure this out with one roll really easily. Let's see. Just any one of these. Yeah, so what I'm looking at on the left side is four separate dice rolls, where if the number did stack, it would be three plus three for a total of seven rolls. So I want to believe that four is the max. I will take my glue. I will shove it on this times five and then get some rerolls. Ah, oh, it's a lottery bonus. Let's go. Plus 500% on all lottery phases. Thank you. Let's keep looking. This multiplier is technically better than a wild face. Probably doesn't hurt to have a full die of big multipliers on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think it hurts. I think it actually helps. So... Let's keep replacing. Yeah, these shops kind of stink. I still have 867 rolls and I'm willing to buy things. Maybe there is one way to spice up my run. I could violate less than six dice bonus. Now, I think I'm committed to this. I think next time I'll break the five dice convention and go for maybe a bunch of copy dice. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. Do I want this times four? I kind of do. <laughs> I'll flag it and see if I get even close to getting it. Like, I have to get 10 to the 20th. Ooh, we did get there. <laughs> that is 500 quintillion. Oh, we overshot the crap out of that. Holy cow. Okay, yes, I will buy you. I will replace this. Was well, there anything else I want to buy now that I'm here? Well, this is free. Thank you. I don't want any of those. And let's reroll, huh? That's not the times 10 I want. This is the times 10 I want. Ooh, I can get a 77777. Seven, seven, seven. Thank you very much. Put that. I think now it is time to replace the 1000. Finally, took long enough. I swear there's still like more triples or doubles bonuses, but maybe not. Now, I can get a glue. What I may want to do instead is go for this times 10 and then put the glue on it. Am I going to get to this behemoth number, which I believe is a sextillion? <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of lucky to get here so far, but I think I'm going to go for it. Let's see if this is too greedy. I don't know. I kind of need a lot. Oh, I see the 21. It could happen. Okay, it's kind of taking a while. Listen, I broke a sextillion. Am I close? <laughs> Am I close here? No, I'm not even halfway there. I need to get that multiple more times. I don't know if this is worth it. I really don't. I'm too scared, man. I These are numbers I don't want to mess with. Here's what I'm going to... I'm going to take the free thing. I'm going to put it on the times five because that's by far my best one still. And I think if I find a good passive, I'll take it. Or maybe a 77777. Seven, seven, seven. Otherwise, I might just roll it out. 
It's too much for me, man. This is already insane. Oh, there is something I can still buy. Oh, I can afford it right now. Yeah, I think I will. Just because I can get it right now. And keep looking. Oh, a single set of a kind. Yeah, that is something I can get. Relatively, that's relatively affordable, I think. I have been there before. I can do it again. But this is taking so long. Like, what if I don't get the god roll again that enables me to get these huge numbers, you know? Whatever. I'll buy this. It's still good. And maybe I'll just re-roll it down now. If I see something incredibly amazing, I'll take it. But I don't think there's that much that's worth it. There is another less than six die bonus. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark it. And we're going to see how long it takes for me to get there. How about that? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, that was quick. Okay, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not the worst thing ever. Now am I going to start rolling it down? And keep re-rolling. No good. And it's this. God, there's so many passives. I got five columns. Uh, I could replace the 2500 with it. It's pretty good. How about once again, we'll see how long it takes to get there, and then I'll make my judgment call. Uh, it's still not that long, but that is everything. I didn't overshoot it this time. I overshot the previous one, which made me feel a little better. I'm still going to take it. I'm still going to take it. It's good. No one can tell me otherwise. Let's roll it down again. This, well, again, I'll mark it. We'll see how long it takes. If it happens in like five rolls, I'll get it. Or maybe 50. It actually happened. Oh, that's nine. What, what am I even at again? Nine sextillion? Yeah, okay. I can, I can overspend. I, I can do this quite easily. Thank, whoa, almost replaced the wrong one. Gonna take you. Let's see that. Are there any full roll multipliers that are worth it here? Unfortunately, no. These are still free, by the way. This, finally, is no longer worth it. Because I have the die set up on all four of my non-wild dice. I think only thing that can help me is a passives or maybe a times 10. And the times 10 is probably way too expensive to be worth it. Yeah, like we're seeing 10 to the power of 22 for some of these. That is ridiculous. I have one last reroll and it got me nothing. I think I'm just going to roll it out. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I can get, so I'm just curious to see how big the numbers get now. But aren't we a little bit curious about the shop? Just, just, a, just a peek, just a quick peek. I have five rerolls right now. Just let me look. Let me just let me go window shopping. Let me just kind of look around. I think they're, we're seeing like the same passives again and again. I bought so many passives that nothing is worth it. All right, well that was fun. Okay, I'm actually gonna roll it down now. Because we're in the 10 sextillions now. Can we see 100 sextillion? <laughs> That's what I need. Come on. Come on. Tyler needs a new car. This is not enough money. <laughs> this is not enough money, dude. Okay, we're looking at 20 sextillion. That seems like a cap. We could. Here's what I actually want to do right now. I want to almost break it down to see where I'm getting the numbers from. Yeah, this middle die. This middle die, it got four times 10 to the 20th. It got 400 quintillion. So I do think that maybe going for a three by three or even four by four in the future to try to get the squares bonus and to try to get more slot machines, you know, three things in a row synergy going would be amazing. Then I could get Yahtzee bonuses as well. Like I can't believe I'm already thinking about next time because this roll was freaking groundbreaking. 5.86 times 10 to the 22nd. Are you joking? Yeah, this was a pretty good run. <laughs> There's no denying it. This run was, you know, decent. <laughs> I think it's time to claim my rightful spot near the top of the leaderboard. Ladies and gentlemen, sixth place. I can't believe it. Sixth place. I can't believe nobody else has found this strategy, except maybe, probably the five above me have found this strategy, but this is insane. Sixth place, this was my first attempt. I can't believe this. Holy crap, I was I was making up as I went along. I bet this could be optimized. Like I bet first place is just a lot more of these dice, but just dice like this. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I may never top this. This might be the last roll episode ever, because there, there, how can I top this? Yeah, 58 sextillion is pretty good. The only thing better would have been 69 sextillion. 
well, we can dream for another day. That was monumental. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed these massive mega numbers. I don't know if we're going to ever see numbers this big again. Have a numeric day.